So hydroadenitis superativa is a chronic inflammatory skin condition. It can be seen in areas where skin tends to rub. So in your underarm area, for some people underneath their breast, um, around their thigh and groin area. And for some people, they start to notice this as early as puberty, so as early as 12 years, 12 years old. So what happens is if your hair follicle gets clogged, for example, um, you can get bacterial growth in there and that can form abscesses and cysts and then eventually it forms tunnels and can eventually lead to significant scarring. It's a very painful condition and for a lot of people when they don't know too much about it, they think it's their fault. Some people think it's an STD, which it's not. It's just a genetic condition that has to do with basically you having a lot of inflammatory markers in your body. It's also associated with um, insulin resistance, PCOS, sometimes endometriosis, or it can be seen in people who are overweight, but I've also seen it in patients who are very, very healthy and slim, and they just genetically are predisposed to it. For my patients, I always recommend that they get laser hair removal because we know that hair plays a critical role in this condition. So if you can remove the hair, then you're not gonna give your body a chance to have an inflammatory response to it to then lead to an infection and cause more problems. But it's also important to make sure that your diet is really good and clean. So no processed foods, no excess sugars, basically, um, I would say for these patients, I'm not a big fan of keto, but I think if you do a ketogenic diet properly, this is a good option for you or intermittent fasting because the goal is to decrease as much insulin as possible because most of these patients have insulin resistance. But yeah, lazy hair removal is a good way to manage this. Um, there are medications that are being used right now for it, but not everybody can afford these medications. So lifestyle choices, um, basically diet, really watching what you're eating, and getting laser hair removal. I don't really recommend waxing in this case. Um, I know the previous video shows waxing, but I think laser hair removal is a better option for these patients. So yeah, if you have HS, it's not your fault. Please don't be embarrassed by it. Make sure you find a physician that can help you with it, and make sure your diet's really clean and consider laser hair removal.